All right. So let's take a look at this problem, see what we can do for it, and see if I can uh, help you guys out with this one. So what we have here is we have f of x equals 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 divided by x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2. So ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned before, the easiest and first thing I want you to do is find the vertical asymptote. Remember, the vertical asymptote is when the values of x that make our denominator <coughs> 0. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my denominator, and I'm going to set it equal to 0. 0 equals x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2. And then you might be like, oh, crap. So how do I find the values of x now? Well, you got to look at our techniques. We can't, it's not a linear equation, so you just can't solve for x. You have multiple x's. And when you have four terms, a factoring technique we use when you have four terms is factoring by grouping. So what you're going to want to do is group the first two terms and group the last two terms. Then factor out separately. So 0 equals x squared times x minus 2. Here I can factor out a negative 1. So therefore, x minus 2. Does everybody follow me with the grouping? Remember this from old, old school? Then we have 0 equals x minus 2. I factor that out, so I have x squared minus 1. Now, the reason why we use factor by grouping 1, I can group those two, factor it out. Now, I can use the zero product property. And I could say 0 equals x minus 2. And 0 equals x squared, x squared minus 1. So my vertical asymptotes, which I'm actually going to write up here, I'm going to have to erase this. My vertical asymptotes are when x equals positive 2 and 1 and negative 1. As I solve, I add 1 to the other side, take the square root, um, I get plus and minus 1. All right, any questions with that? That was your vertical asymptotes. So x equals 2, x equals plus or minus 1. Cool with that? That's, that's your hardest factoring problem. The rest of them um, out of your homework are either you can solve just by uh, solving an equation, or you can solve by uh, you know, factoring trinomial and so forth. So the next thing I need to do is determine, I'll do horizontal here next, while some of you are writing this down. So the next thing is horizontal. So the horizontal, I have to use my horizontal zero test. Remember, the horizontal zero test tells you to compare your exponents. So I make sure that my polynomials are in descending order, with the highest degree first and then in descending order. And what I notice is my degrees, which is 2 and a 3, since the degree in my numerator is less than the degree in my denominator, right? we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. All right? So that's it. Just by using that test, no mathematics or algebra needs to be used. OK, so you have y equals 0 is your horizontal asymptote. And vertical asymptote is x equals 2, 1, and negative 1. Now the next thing we need to do is it says to find the x-intercept. So remember, in those other problems we worked with, x-intercept is when your f of x equals 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 0 equals 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 divided by x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2. And remember, we talked about this. How do we get a fraction off our, you know, the bottom of the denominator? You have to multiply it on both sides. So I'm just going to write it really quick. You multiply that on both sides. This whole um, expression multiplied by 0 is just going to become 0. And then obviously, that divided by itself is just going to give you 1. So you're just left with 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. Now you got to say, all right, geez. Now, what I got to do, I got to make sure I, um, I got to make sure I multiply or see if I can factor this. So you need to look at this and say, you know, what two terms are going to multiply to give me, uh, well, 6. So I need to look at this and need to say 2x times x. And they need to multiply to give me 3. Or look up there and give me 3. So it'd be, I'm not saying that's factorable. So then what I'll look, 
I'm sorry? But the only problem with negative, well, negative 3 and negative 1. Actually, no, wait. Could you do negative 1 and negative? Let's do this. Negative 1 and negative 3. Yeah. Well, I was, I was thinking about switching them the other way. That's what I was looking at. But that will work, right? Yep, that works. There you go. Equals 0. So therefore, your x-intercepts are going to be now. So now you say 2x minus 3 equals 0 and x minus 1 equals 0. So now you could say x equals 3 halves and x equals 1. What, what's up? Remember, you're multiplying these, right? 2 times x, 2x times x is 2x squared, right? Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. 2x times negative 1 is a negative 2x. Negative 3 times x is a negative 3x. Negative 2x minus 3x is negative 5x. Okay. So are we cool with the x-intercepts? Because we now need to do the y-intercepts. Actually, we can do y-intercepts right here. Um, I want to do them below. So we could say the x-intercepts. x-intercepts are when x equals 3 halves and when x equals 1. So the last thing we need to do is now determine the y-intercepts. So to determine the y-intercepts, that's when x equals 0. So all we do now is plug in 0 in for x. So you do 2 times 0 squared minus 5 times 0 plus 3 all over 0 cubed minus 2 times 0 squared minus 0 plus 2. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Half of x equals 3 halves. So to finish off the rest of this problem, you can say your y-intercept, which I didn't leave room for, your y-intercept is when f of x equals 3 halves. Any questions on this? No? Good? Maybe?